The case was a routine repair of an injured knee ligament. The event was anything but routine. As he performed surgery at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center, Dr. Christopher Kading donned Google Glass and for the first time transmitted a point of view operation to audiences miles away. I could start to appreciate the connectivity it gave me and the, and the possibilities. The fact that I could sit there in real time, both audibly and then even more important, even you know, visually, I could communicate with somebody uh, while I'm in the middle of the case. As Kading performed surgery on the east side of Columbus, a colleague collaborated from his office across town. And on Ohio State's main campus, a group of medical students saw this historic event from a completely different perspective. I think we've all shadowed surgeons before in the OR, and a lot of times you're just kind of on the outside looking in, but this really it really shows you what's what's going on in the in the surgery itself. But beyond being a teaching tool, the device could actually assist during an operation. A surgeon could potentially call up x-rays or MRI images of the patient, pathology reports and reference material. The doctor can even talk live to colleagues or specialists via the internet anywhere in the world. It puts you right there real time. So it's, it's not only to be able to draw up any kind of information you need, or to get the help you need, but it's the ability to do it immediately. Doctors say they have visions of how this type of technology could change medicine, though it still needs to be thoroughly tested and evaluated. But with one simple procedure, doctors here have taken the first step of turning those visions into reality. At Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.